It's your favorite day of the week again, Kingdomers. Welcome back to our event walkthrough series where we take a look at the upcoming content in Disney Magic Kingdoms. You may or may not have been surprised to see Star Wars making a comeback this update if you picked up on any of the hints in our last event walkthrough. Without any further ado, let's go over all the new content you can look forward to seeing in Update 70, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, and The Mandalorian. Now what better way to start off this event walkthrough than by going over some of the new characters we can look forward to seeing in the kingdom this update. Clouded in mystery and main adversary in The Mandalorian, we have Moff Gideon storming his way into the kingdom. We know he isn't afraid to use his formidable power to get what he wants, but what will he want once he arrives in the kingdom? Only one way to find out, Kingdomers. Next up on our list of characters for this update, it's my pleasure to introduce our premium character for this update, the fierce and fabulous Bogatan Kreese. This Mandalorian warrior has fought battles across the galaxy, leading her people through war and rebellion. With her signature jetpack and blasters at the ready, she's a force to be reckoned with. But don't let her tough exterior fool you. She's got a heart of Beskar steel and a loyalty to her comrades that's unshakable. The last character we have for you in this update is the Master of the Dark Side, Dark Lord of the Sith, and Emperor of the Galactic Empire. Grab your popcorn, turn off your lightsabers, and let's give a warm galactic welcome to the man who needs no introduction. Well, we've done it anyways. Emperor Palpatine. Whether you're a Jedi or a Sith, there's something for everyone to enjoy in this update. Now that we've got characters out of the way, let's move on to checking out what out of this world attractions and concessions we can expect to see. Attention Space Explorers! Are you ready for an intergalactic adventure? Step aboard the Gideon's Light Cruiser attraction and prepare to be transported to the furthest reaches of the cosmos. This sleek vessel is equipped with the latest in spacefaring technology and promises to be a thrill ride for all of your park visitors. Next up, don't miss your golden opportunity to add the Star Wars Gold Trophy to your kingdom which is available as one of the various leaderboard rewards this event. Now that covers everything we've got relating to Return of the Jedi and The Mandalorian this update, but we've got one more concession to show you all that will be attainable in this update's Cascading Tapper event as one of the leaderboard rewards. Get ready to immerse yourself in the glowing ambience of Rapunzel's Lantern Stand concession. You won't want to miss the chance to experience the charm of Rapunzel's world again, so make sure you participate in the Cascading Tapper event so your park visitors can grab some lanterns and light up the park together. Speaking of which, let's go take a look at the events we have coming up, starting with the Cascading Tappers event. It's time to get your tapping fingers ready for the next Cascading Tapper event we have coming to the kingdom. The Cascading Tappers event will start on May 11th and end on May 17th. Now for those wondering what a Cascading Tapper event is in the first place, it looks like I got some explaining to do. The Cascading Tappers event consists of a series of Tier 1 and Tier 2 Tappers. The Tier 1 Tappers are the Tappers you can clear in your kingdom simply by tapping on them. For this event, our Tier 1 Tappers are the Pegasus Clouds. When you clear these Tappers, you'll get some points added to your score which contributes to your milestone rewards and they will also have a chance to drop tokens that are required to clear the Tier 2 Tappers. What are Tier 2 Tappers you ask? That's a good question. Unlike Tier 1 Tappers, Tier 2 Tappers require just a little bit more magic to poof out of your kingdom. Now for this event, your first set of Tier 2 Tappers will be the Honeybees. In addition to needing tokens to clear these Tappers, you'll also need the help of a character. Once you have the required amount of tokens and you have a character available, you can send them on a task to send these tappers to another dimension. Tier 2 tappers will also contribute to your milestone rewards once they're cleared and drop some tokens as well. These tokens will contribute to clearing your final set of Tier 2 tappers, the Creepy Trees. Similar to the Honeybees, you'll need both the required amount of tokens as well as a required character to clear these. Clearing these tappers will contribute to your milestone rewards and help you unlock the grand prize of Claude Frollo from Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That includes our overview of the Cascading Tappers event for Update 70. If you have any questions, you know where to find us, but until then, good luck and happy tapping, Kingdomers! 
All right, Kingdomers, it's time to show you all what we have in store for you in the Update 70 Star Wars Return of the Jedi and the Mandalorian mini event. Before we go detail diving, let's start with some of the basics of the event. Chapter 1 of the mini event will start on May 18th, Chapter 2 will start on May 20th, and Chapter 3 starts May 27th, and the event will fully conclude on June 2nd. One tab down from here, you'll find the Event Goals tab where you'll be able to learn about all the quests you need to complete in order to unlock all these amazing rewards, including the Star Wars Return of the Jedi and the Mandalorian characters, and the Gideon's Light Cruiser attraction. Let's take things one more tab down to the Featured tab. This is the spot for viewing all of the limited time content that you'll be able to make good use of to help you complete all of your quests and progress at light speed through this mini event. On top of all these goodies, you'll find in the Feature tab, you'll be able to use the premium character of the event, Bo-Katan Kreese, to help you progress even faster through this mini-event. If you happen to have any other Star Wars characters taking a calm stroll through your kingdom, now is a great time to put them to use because Star Wars will be the helper IP for this update, meaning they can give you an extra boost through the mini-event. If we go another tab down from here, your eyes will find the Event Leaderboard tab. This is the tab where you'll be able to see how you stack up against all the other Kingdomers in Disney Magic Kingdoms. It's also here where you'll be able to see where you rank in time limited events, such as the Striking Gold events that we have on the way back to the Kingdom this update. Make sure to keep an eye out for all the awesome rewards we will have in store for you in this tab and see how you'll be able to obtain them when the event starts. Now I know all of you have been on the edge of your seats just waiting for me to get to this tab, and that's why I am proud to present to you all the FAQ tab at the bottom. Yeah. Hold your applause, please, please. Within this tab, you'll get explanations on some important topics such as the new content in the event and how to unlock it, what the main objectives of the event are, and who the premium character of the event is. If you ever run into any technical problems at all in the kingdom, whether it be with the event or the game in general, make sure to navigate over to the customer care icon and contact the DMK team directly so we can help you out. And it looks like that's everything we have for you in Update 70 Star Wars Return of the Jedi and the Mandalorian. Join the adventure by downloading the update on May 9th. Make sure to also get those tapping fingers ready for the Cascading Tapper event starting on May 11th and grab your lightsabers for the mini event starting on May 18th. With new quests, characters, and attractions coming to the kingdom, the Force is strong with this update. Thanks for watching, Kingdomers, and may the Force be with you all.